So welcome, my dear students, back. Welcome, my dear students, back. Uh, this is another lecture in the uh, uh, depreciation. And we will handle here numbers of units or units of production method. This is a second way for doing the depreciation. A second way for doing the depreciation. Assume this vehicle is driven 80,000 miles in a year one. Look at this. In the first year, drive for 80,000 miles in year one, 120,000 miles in year two, and 100,000 miles in year three. And the cost of the vehicle was 90,000. We bought it for 90,000. Calculate the depreciation in the three years and record the journal transaction. Okay, so the same thing, we make the annual depreciation for the year one, annual depreciation for year two, annual depreciation for year three, then we will do the journal entries or the journal transactions. Cool, that's fine. The way or the method which you will use, not the one which we used before, the straight line method, but we will use units of production method. Units of production method. So in that case, the solution, let us go to the solution. What we will do here, we will see all the numbers of method of the miles traveled. They are 300,000 miles because first year, it was 80,000 miles. Second year, it drived 100,000 miles. Third year, it drived 100,000 miles as well. 120 in the second year and 100 in the third year. 80,000, 80,000 the first year, 120,000 in the second year, and 100,000 in the third year. When you could create 80,000 plus 120 plus 100, that will give you 300,000 miles. Those three, when you add them up, they will give you 300,000 miles. Okay. Now, the depreciation rate <laughs> from the whole miles, we will calculate something we call it depreciation rate. Depreciation rate will be costs divided by total production. The total production here is the total miles. The car or the vehicle drive 300,000 miles. So the cost I brought it was $990,000. I will divide it by 300,000 miles. That will give me 30 cents per mile. By other meaning, this car, its price will reduce 30 cents each mile it traveled. Each mile it traveled, again. The depreciation here would be 90,000, which is the cost of the car, divided by the uh, miles traveled, which are 300,000 miles. That means that the value or the asset of this car is reduced 30 cents, 0.3 of dollar means 30 cents for each mile it traveled. So it, it reduced, the value reduced 30 cents. Okay. So here now we got the depreciation rate. I will see the numbers of miles for the first year time the depreciation year, uh, rate. So if it traveled 80,000 miles for the first year and each mile will reduce its value with 30 cents. So the depreciation or the, the, the down of the value of it for the first year will be 80,000 times 30%. That will give me $24,000. Okay, second year. Number of, of the travels or the how many units it produced or whatever, the production, time, time, the rate again. The rate is 0 0.30, which is $36,000. The rate of the third year, depreciation third year, will be how many miles the travel in the third year times the uh, depreciation rate, which is 30 uh, percent, which means 30 cents. 30% 30 here is 30 cents for a dollar. So uh, the value reduced with 30,000, the same idea, the same idea. Again, I will say, again, I will say, we have all to calculate all the production of this vehicle or this machine or this car. So this car traveled or this truck traveled 300,000 miles. Okay, 300,000 miles, which is 80,000 plus 100. 20 plus 100,000, that gives me 300,000 miles. Then I will calculate the depreciation rate. 
the depreciation rate will be with the cost divided by the total miles. The cost divided by total miles. Cool, that's fine. The cost is, I bought it for $90,000 and traveled 300,000 miles. So $90,000 divided by 300,000 miles, that will give me 30 cents or $0.3. 30 cents per a mile means that there is the value of this truck is reduced down every mile it move with 30 cents. Every mile it cut or work, when it cut work for one mile, travel for one mile, it lose 30 cents of its value. Now, all I will do is I will calculate the depreciation using units of production method. We are now talking about the units of production method still. So how I will use it, I would say depreciation of the year one will equals the first 80,000 miles, 80,000 miles time 0.3. That will give me $24,000. Will give me $24,000. Okay. Depreciation for year two, depreciation for year two will give me, this is 120,000, 120,000 time 0.3, time 0.3. That will give me $36,000. For depreciation for year three, that's $100,000 time. Point three, that will give me $30,000. So this is the annual depreciation for each year based on the production units, number of units production. And I will do the same. So I bought this car as example for $90,000. So I would say from the vehicle to cash, we say the expenses of the vehicle into cash, like we did before. So 90,000 into 90,000 from vehicle and the debit into cash and the credit with the amount of the car, which we bought 90,000. Then we will calculate the depreciation expenses into the, we said the journal entry of any uh, depreciation will be from depreciation expenses into accumulated depreciation from depreciation expenses into accumulated depreciation. So here it would be 24,000 to 24,000. This is the vehicle for the first year. Second year is the same, third year is the same. But the number only will be different based on the numbers of miles which it did. The only thing different is the numbers of miles which is it. And we will repeat back the same, uh, the same, uh, it's okay. Let's go now for an example. And I will take here this example. I will change only for you for the numbers that said, and I want you to work on it as well. So cars or whatever, let us say here, exercise, exercise. And here I will put the exercise. Let's go for a new page. <coughs> Okay, assume, here is assume, this vehicle was bought for 100,000 or driving for 100, for uh, in the first year, 130, in the second year, and 70,000 in the third year. Uh, the cost of the vehicle was $80,000. Let's say $80,000, $80,000. Then I want you to calculate the depreciation in the three years. I record the transaction. That would be fine like this way. Okay. I will leave for your chance like around five minutes to solve this question before we end the lecture. Thank you.
just a reminder what we did. Here we calculate the total uh, miles traveled. Then we get the depreciation rate. Then we see each year how much it works and times the depreciation rate. It will give me the annual depreciation of this year. Here we go. Cool. Let's now calculate, do exactly like what we did here. First of all, like let me remind you, we calculate the number of miles, the number of miles. So they would here do this now the same thing. Number of miles, we have 100,000 miles. Here would say number, number of miles, number of miles will equal, we have 100,000, 100,000, control and C. We have 100,000. Control and V, and we have 130. Control and C plus here, plus Control and V plus the list here is 77. Control and C, and here is uh, 70,000. Control and V that will equal 100 and 130, 230, and 70. That's 300,000 miles. 300,000 uh, miles. Then we'll want to calculate now the depreciation rate, the depreciation rate that will equals, that will equals the cost divided by the total miles, like here, cost divided by the total miles. So how much this cost, this vehicle cost me? This cost me $80,000. So I will say 80,000 divided by total miles are 300,000 miles, 300,000 miles. That will give me, when I do it on the calculator like this way, Let's get the calculator and say eight, uh, 880,000 80, divided by, divided by 300,000 miles, 300,000. That will equals 0.26. This, the depreciation needed will be 0.26. That means the value of the car will be reduced with 26 cents every uh, every mile will be reduced with 26 cents every mile like you see here so this is will be this is the cent dollars per mile per mile then we'll get the annual depreciation for year one annual depreciation for year one that will equal the, 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 the miles of year one is 100,000, control C, control and C 100,000 times the depreciation rate, which is 0.26, control and C. So that will equals 100,000 times 0.26. Let's go to the calculator. We'll say 100,000. Time O point two six that will equal twenty six thousand dollars. Twenty six thousand dollars. That's for the first year. The uh, dollar sign is here. Second year, guys. Second year, guys. How many miles we work in the second year? 
130,000 miles, control and see. Annual depreciation for the second year, annual depreciation for year two, will equals the same 100,000, 100, this is, I'm sorry, 130,000 times the 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 2.6, and that will equal, I will multiply it, 130,000, 130,000, then we'll go here now, 130,000 times 0. 0.26, that will give me 33, here it is, Eddie, and copy, and here I will put it paste, dollars, of course, this is in dollars. Third year as well. Then the third year, annual depreciation for year three. Let's write now down in here, control and B for year three will equal the miles existed in year three uh, is 70,000 miles, control and C, 70,000 miles, control and V times, times same thing, 0 0.26, 0 0.2. Six, and that will give me equals. Uh, we'll go to this one now, right now. Here's C and 70,000, seven zero, 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 uh, times 0.26. That will give me 18,200, 18,200 dollars, of course, dollars. And here, control and V, 18,200 for the third year. So I get the depreciation for the three years right now, exactly like what we did here. Exactly like we did here. We, we take the, the miles exhausted for every year, miles work, work, working miles of every year, times the depreciation rate. Same exactly what we did. Then here, like what you see right now, I will do the depreciation rates for uh, the three years. And actually, before I do the depreciation reads, I will uh, actually uh, do the table here for the depreciation. I will insert a table, and the table, like we said, four by four. Let's do it like this way. Then here is debit, and here is the credit. Here we go. Here we go, my dears. Here we go. Then the amount of the first year, the vehicle price was 80,000 from vehicle into cash, from vehicle into cash with the amount which is $80,000, $80,000. Here is control and C. And here control and V and here control and V. And this is debit and this is credit as you know. And here is the, uh, when we bought it, whatever the date was, and the annual depreciation for the first year, annual depreciation will be, the, the transaction will be from depreciation expenses into accumulated depreciation. From depreciation expenses. So the first year is how much it is? First year is 26,000. So here, control and C, 26,000. Control and V here, 26,000. Here it is, 26,000. Okay, the second year of the depreciation, the same, but we'll change the amount. Control and C. And we will change the amount here, control and V, but we'll change the amount to this amount, the second annual, the second of the second year, which is here, uh, this amount, control and V, this, this amount, control and V for the second year. This is the annual depreciation for the second year. Third year will do the same uh, thing, control and V. We'll take the same transactions, but we'll change the numbers, that's it. Control and C. And we'll put here control and V. And here we will do the same to 18,000, 18,200, control and C. 
for the third year, control and B, and control and V. That is all about it. So we will write here the annual depreciation, A N N U A L depreciation. Here, sorry. A N N U A L depreciation. This is for the first year. Same likewise, we'll do it repeated back on the second two years as well. This is the declaration of the uh, uh, transaction. Declaration of the uh, transaction here for the third year. Control and V. This is uh, the transaction. And if the dates, of course, I wrote you on the dates, as example, on Jan 1, 22, or on Jan 1, 19, 18. This is Jan 118. We brought the car, control and C for this amount. Then December 1, December 31, 18 from the same year. This is the first one. December 31, 19. And this will be December. 31, 20. Because we said for three years depreciation, this is the three years depreciation. Uh, just I want to make this table uh, just a little bit clear more. I just want to put it all in one page so that all you can see it, guys, in all one page. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, of course, the annual depreciation should be in the middle and highlighted. Here, annual depreciation, because this is the meaning of the description of the uh, transaction should be by that way. And you can highlight it also so that no one will be confused with it with the journal entry of the uh, transaction. So here we go. Here are the three. Here are the three. Thanks so much, my dears. Shall see you in the next lecture. Stay safe, everyone. Have a very wonderful day. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, my dears. Bye-bye.